stamp and slide with our own new restaurant playset. It has two sides so you can pretend to be the customer or create a culinary masterpiece as the chef. Get the new restaurant playset and serve up the fun. This is Teachable Moments with April podcast, and you guessed it, I'm your host, April. If you're a returning listener and a part of the Teachable Moments with April podcast family, welcome back. For those who are checking me out for the first time, well, hello and welcome. To everyone listening, be encouraged and look for the Teachable Moments that are all around us. Enjoy. and prayers for children. Number two, I'll be a sunbeam. Prayer. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam to shine for him each day. In every way, try to please him at home, at school, at play. A sunbeam, a sunbeam. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. A sunbeam, a sunbeam. I'll be a sunbeam for him. O God, creator of light, at the rising of your sun this morning, let the greatest of all light, your love, rise like the sun within our hearts. Amen. Bible Stories for Kids, Part 2 The Flood to the Deliverance from Egypt Only eight people survived the flood but in time they increased to number many thousands. Then, 352 years after the flood, Abraham was born. We learn how God kept his promise by giving Abraham a son named Isaac. Then, of Isaac's two sons, Jacob was chosen by God. Jacob had a big family of 12 sons and some daughters. Jacob's 10 sons hated their younger brother Joseph and sold him into slavery in Egypt. Later, Joseph became an important ruler of Egypt. When a bad famine came, Joseph tested his brothers to see whether they had a change of heart. Finally, Jacob's whole family, the Israelites, moved to Egypt. This happened 290 years after Abraham was born. For the next 215 years, the Israelites lived in Egypt. After Joseph died, they became slaves there. In time, Moses was born, and God used him to deliver the Israelites from Egypt. In all, 857 years of history are covered in part two. Bible Stories for Kids, story number 21, Joseph's Brothers Hate Him. All right, guys, so we're going to learn about Joseph. Their father, Jacob, liked Joseph very, very much. He showed him favor by having a beautiful long coat made for him. When his ten older brothers saw how much Jacob loved Joseph, they began to be jealous and to hate Joseph. But there was also another reason why they hated him. Joseph had two dreams. In both of Joseph's dream, his brothers bowed down to him. When Joseph told his brothers these dreams, they ha- their hatred grew even more. Can you imagine this? Now, one day when Joseph's older brothers are taking care of their father's sheep, Jacob asks Joseph to go and see how they are getting along. When Joseph's brothers see him coming, some of them say this, Let's kill him. Oh my God. But Reuben, the oldest brother, says, No, don't you do that. Instead, they grab Joseph and throw him into a dried up water hole or a well that has no water. Then they sit down and decide what to do with him. Now, about this time, some uh, an Ishmaelite man came along. Judea says to his half-brothers, Let's sell him to the Ishmaelites. And that's what they do. Can you believe that? They sell Joseph for 20 pieces of silver. How mean and unkind was that, guys? 
what will the brothers tell their father? Let's think about this. If you were in their position, they'd have to go back home without their little brother. What would they tell him? Does anyone know already how this plays out? Oh, wow. So they kill a goat and again and again dip Joseph's beautiful coat into the goat's blood. Oh, my God. Then they take the coat home to their father, Jacob, and say, we found this. Look at it and see if it is not Joseph's coat. So right away, guys, we know they're lying. Okay, and that's another thing that is a bad, a very bad thing. Okay, so Jacob sees what it is, okay? And he says this, A wild animal must have killed Joseph. And he cries. Their father cries. And that is just what Joseph's brothers want their father to think. That he's dead. Jacob is so very, very sad. And he weeps for many, many, many days. But we know that Joseph is not dead. Let's see what happens to him and where he is actually taken. A prayer for my children's protection, courtesy of Crosswalk.com. Heavenly Father, I pray your emotional, physical, and spiritual protection over my children. Keep evil far from them and help them to trust you as their refuge and strength. I pray you will guard my children's minds from harmful instruction and grant them discernment to recognize truth. I pray you will make them strong and courageous in the presence of danger recognizing that you have overcome and will set right all injustices and wrongs one day. Help them to find rest in your shadow as they live in the spiritual shelter you provide for them. Let our children know that the only safe place in your son, Jesus, and that your home on earth is only temporary. In Jesus' name, amen. time I'm not a math kid she's never been a math kid he'll never be a math kid at math tutors we believe every kid can be a math kid and make it fun because we customize our math instruction for each student so they develop the numbers sense to catch up soar ahead and take on new challenges parents see the difference with math tutors there's nothing your kid can't do just listening to Teachable Moments with April Podcast. I truly hope you enjoyed this episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on the other social media platforms of ours, which is TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. Also, we'd like to invite you to check out our official podcast landing page on podpage.com slash teachable moments with April to see all our content in one place and leave personal messages, feedback, and more.